Hey, what's up? I'm Basic, and I'm here with Guitar Center checking out the Roland MC707 Groove Box. I started playing live with the Game Boys, and the Game Boys were so lo-fi sounding, I was saving up a couple thousand dollars so I could buy a car, but instead I went and got a drum machine workstation. My friend was like, well, how are you gonna get around that? You don't have a car. But it was wild, because that drum machine like took me all around the world, which the car wouldn't do. I'm super hyped about this machine because I've been a fan of rolling groove boxes since the mid 90s and to have 808s, 909, 707, 606s and to have TB303 sounds, the Hoover and everything in the all in one is super rad. <laughs> It has eight tracks, and this is set up in a way, like if I want, I could just have a bunch of oscillators droning. If I want, I could have some crazy drum and bass stuff happen in it. I could play like a hip hop beat when I have a turntable by it and I'm like cutting stuff up with it. And also the ability to assign just whatever effects you want to the mod and effects is really rad too. It has the pads and also a step sequencer, like a bunch of other ones. The same pads that you use to drum are also the ones that you use to step sequence. So for this to kind of have like the mini step sequencer right above the pads is really dope. One of the things that I'm super into is like really heavy gated reverb 80s drums. So to turn this on and have it already bumping is really rad. And I love machines that I could just jump right into, hit record, and just start pounding out stuff immediately. I've just never really got into production with laptops. Being able to have pads and faders, like I come from a DJ background, so being able to hit all these and tap all these is just amazing for me. To be able to go into the clip mode, and you have 16 clips per track, so it's almost like you're playing a DJ set where you could swap the beat out where all the other seven tracks are still doing the same thing but you could change the beats up the pads feel amazing they're nice and responsive they have a nice feel to them they're not too hard they're not too soft just the right format for finger drumming i'm really hyped about this that it has the recording input because i have a really big studio and when i like to play live sometimes i don't like to bring a full table of gear so like to be able to take different loops from different machines and import them into this with the drums that are already there like to me that's just a no-brainer that it pieces together many different elements of my studio but just all in one box and it's really awesome with the resample feature. So if I had a like, melody line or a drum, and if I was hitting the fader, I could resample that onto a different track. I think this is for someone who wants to thrash, honestly. Someone who just really wants to get in there if you're making like some sludged out hip hop or if you're making like crazy, brutal techno or hardcore music. When I first started going to raves, I heard the sound of a Roland TB303, and it was one of the most foreign alien sounds I've ever heard. And I'm like, I need to figure out what that sound is. My music is communal. I, I want to see everyone pogoing with their arms around each other and being in a place together. It almost gets addicting, like, oh, I want to try this universe out, and I want to like pick up a piece and fully master it. Little, little, little.